Award for a special friend of mine who is in the house, Mr. Mark David Smith, Sr. Amen. My brother Mark is right here in the corner and he's going to stay right where he is, but I want you to be able to see him. So while the lights are up, let me present his award to him. If you want to stand at any point, feel free to do so. And he has a big cheering section with him here today, I believe, as well. <laughs> Mr. Mark Damon Smith Sr. is the Youth Bill Coordinator. We're moving into the, continuing with the educational awards tonight. He is the Youth Coordinator at Towson Great Falls Youth Build, an educational and occupational skills training program for young adults sponsored by the New Jersey Community Development Corporation right here in the city. NJCDC is a private nonprofit community development and social service agency with a mission of creating opportunities to transform lives in the city of Patterson. Mr. Smith has served for three years as a program manager for this particular program and for Patterson Tech Corps, for AmeriCorps programs, as well as a two-year stint as a youth development coordinator for the NJCDC Teen Center, and is entering into his 11th year as working with working with the uh, Youth Build program. For those who've never heard of Youth Build, they take young men and women who are at their wit's end and don't have any options in life for the most part. They have not completed their high school education. They've aged out of certain programs and opportunities, but Youth Build gives them another chance. That's a blessing, isn't it? How many of y'all would use another chance? <laughs> Mr. Smith volunteers with numerous child advocacy organizations. Most recently, has dedicated his time to the North Jersey Girl Scouts, Read to Know, a child literacy program, Patterson's Inner City Ensemble, oh, I was one of those back in my day, Inner City Ensemble, the Faith, the Fatherhood Buzz, a safe and successful school year barbershop initiative, and Youth Build USA National Mentoring Alliance, among many other things. Mark Damon is a member of Latter Glory Church in Patterson. He resides in Essex County with his wife Elizabeth Mathis Smith and his sons Mark Damon Jr. and Christopher and his daughter Alicia. Mr. Smith, I met him through NJCDC. I ran a mentoring program at the Garrett Morgan High School Academy at the time. And we would pass each other. I'd be coming in to talk to my kids, and he'd be getting ready for his kids. And we just we became friends and with a common cause of helping young people. And so tonight, I am honored to have you at the Tabernacle, first of all, with your loving wife and your family, and to present you with an award of excellence for your service dedication, and as I've said before, things happen when they're supposed to happen. And my prayer is that this would enlighten you, encourage you, uplift you to keep going just a little bit further because your work is not done, my brother. God bless you for the one thing you And let's Our young people need help on all ages, on all sides. And youth build, they go into the construction field. So I met a young woman actually last Monday who graduated from the program. She's all of 100 pounds wet, but she's a construction worker because she graduated from youth build. And that is wonderful, and we honor you again for your service. We want to take a photograph so we can have it as a part of our archives and share with you and your family. Mr. Mark Damon Smith, senior. Thank you, my brother. God bless you. I also want to honor Reverend Patrick Mil uh, Farrar, who joined us, Pastor the Gilmore Memorial Tabernacle. Uh, at this time, Sister Aline James is coming. 
followed by Sister Kamika Patterson. Good evening, everyone. I'm here to honor Minister Rashawn Gerald. Rayshawn Gerald was born and raised in Patterson, New Jersey to Judy and the late Larry Delson. He is the middle of three children. He believes the middle child is often the favorite child. He was educated by the Patterson Public School System, attending PS number 21 and Rosa Parks High School of Farming Performance. Rayshawn discovered that he had a love for music and in the fourth grade, he learned how to play the alto saxophone. Playing the saxophone got him accepted into Rosa Parks High School as an instrumental music major. All throughout his high school career, Rayshawn has played in many different school productions, such as Duke Ellington's Sophisticated Ladies, The Nutcracker, and Pearly, along with performing at New Jersey's annual teachers' conferences in Atlantic City and A Plus for Kids. In high school, Rayshawn also learned how to play the baritone and tenor saxophone, the flute, and the bass clarinet. After graduating Rosa Parks High School, Rayshawn attended Lincoln University of Pennsylvania, the first HBCU in the U.S., as a psychology major. However, his love for music made him change his major from psychology to music education slash performance, and he made psychology a minor. Rayshawn was the only saxophone player whose concentration was classical music. While at Lincoln, Rayshawn played for the orchestra, concert, and jazz bands, as well as sang with the concert and gospel choirs, and he even, he even did with an opera with him. When Rayshawn graduated from Lincoln, he returned home to Patterson and started working at the Shatira Memorial Daycare as a teacher for the three-year-olds. Soon after, he was promoted to assistant program director for the school. In 2003, Rayshawn started working in the Patterson Public School System, starting out as a substitute teacher before being hired permanently, not as a music teacher, but as a special education teacher. Working with children with special needs has been fulfilling to him. Still loving music, Rayshawn has worked as an instructor for Eastside Marching Band and as an assistant director for JFK Marching Band. Rayshawn's musical gifts have even taken him outside of the country when he started teaching music in Bermuda for three years at a band camp. Rayshawn attends the Christian Tabernacle of Faith and Extra Ministries in the city of Patterson and was recently licensed as a minister of the gospel. He sings on both the choir and the men's chorus. He is also the vice president of the Usher Board and is part of the Youth Council. Currently, Rayshawn is in school and is working on getting his license in Christian counseling. It's nightly honor this to Rayshawn Jones.
Then he um, took a stint at Patterson Catholic as a special education teacher. During his tenure, Mr. Patterson served as the Patterson Catholic High School head basketball coach, where he won 200 games and took his team to state finals six times. As the head coach, as the head coach, Mr. Patterson used basketball to teach his players to be good decision makers and, and self-thinkers in order to find out what works best for them. With these skills, they are, they are then able to find ways that works best for them and, and gain confidence in their ability to make decisions. And during this process, he believes this puts them on the right path into manhood all while squeezing in basketball skill sets. I'm sorry, going back and forth. Um, he currently serves as an activity coordinator and athletic director at Patterson Charter School for Science and Technology. Prior to that, Mr. Tommy Patterson served as the Dean of Students for Patterson Charter School for Science and Technology. His vision is to address the needs of youth and to be a part of preparing Patterson for a positive future. Tommy's innate leadership skills were honed in part through his experience as a coach, teacher, community worker, worker, mentor, and advisor. He keeps his hands on a community pulse of Patterson through, through his involvement and service to, with, and for others. In addition to his work ethic and leadership, and leadership. Tommy Patterson is also currently the head basketball boys basketball coach at Patterson Charter School for Science and Technology. Go Tommy! <laughs> As a coordinator of Patterson Charter School for Science and Technology, Mr. Patterson expanded programs, offerings such as athletic leagues and after school programs for youth. Under his leadership, the youth of Patterson participate in games and have traveled throughout the North Jersey. Tommy participates in efforts that raise hundreds of dollars in scholarship funds for high school students via the athletic departments of Patterson, Patterson Charter High School, Omega Psi Phi Fraternity, in which he is a member, and the Reverend Dr. Frank Lupier Jr. Scholarship Committee. He is the recipient of awards, of many of awards, citations, and honors, including selection, including induction into the John F. Kennedy and William Patterson Hall of Fame. He, he, he continues to garner respect and support from various segments of local communities. Mr. Patterson is married to the beautiful, wonderful, lovely, charismatic, energetic, vivacious. Tamika Patterson. And together we have five children, Jael Patterson, Corey Wilson, Kaden, Kai, and Caleb Patterson. My dear husband, Mrs. Tanya Patterson, we honor you because you rock! Fire um, Rebecca. Ah! 